Believe it or not, Ontario Mills has more visitors a year than Disneyland. That might be the reason why the state chose the mall to be one of the newest attractions. Here's Brooks Slyer. If you've been to Ontario Mills recently, you might have noticed something new, other than a department store or restaurant. The Greater Ontario Convention and Visitors Bureau opened the California Welcome Center earlier this summer. The California Welcome Center is really for the entire state. So in addition to our region of the state, we're also promoting all of the benefits of California. So California, as you know, is one of the largest economies in the world, not just in the, the United States of America. Um, this particular uh, region of the, of the state and of the county, Southern California, has a lot of assets. And why is the location here important? Because this is the gateway to many other parts of the state and of the region. For example, you're 30 minutes from downtown Los Angeles, you're 30 minutes from Disneyland, you're about an hour from skiing, you're an hour from Palm Springs, an hour from San Diego, you're less than an hour to the beach. So this central location and the, we'll call it the hub and spoke system, meaning like an airline, you can kind of start here and go everywhere from here. So it's kind of centrally located, and I think that was a big reason we decided this was a good location, and I'm sure why the state of California decided that this was a, uh, a good location to put the center. The center offers tourist information on the state of California while highlighting the Inland Empire, including Rancho Cucamonga. They could get just about anything they want here. They can get a ticket to Universal Studios. They can buy a ticket to Disney. They can get a, a ticket to one of our arena events, as example of tickets available to you. You can also, uh, you can also uh, look on our site to find area or destination or regional information. One feature that may stick out to visitors are the digital kiosk screens. This welcome center is the first in the state of California to have them. So our guests here, when they come to the Welcome Center, actually don't take a brochure necessarily. They might take one of our visitor guides or other California information through the visitor guides. But most of the information they get will be digital, will, be, will come from a digital resource, which is very unusual. In the state of California, we are the first example of that. And we hope to expand this model within other locations within the Inland Empire or in the region. It's not just tourists or those living in Ontario who benefit from the new Welcome Center. The city of Rancho Cucamonga is in a partnership with the Greater Ontario Convention and Visitors Bureau. Rancho Cucamonga and the city council and mayor have all been exceptional partners of ours. And why is this important? Well, Rancho Cucamonga uh, is, no one knows the borders. So in other words, you could sit here and think you're in Ontario and yet you might be in Rancho or vice versa. So I think that's the first point. And remember, our partners include more than 60 hotels in both cities. That's unheard of for cities of this size, meaning these aren't large population cities, but they're large visitor cities because, of course, we have an airport and we have a convention center and we have an arena. So all of these things combined are why all this hotel development ha took place. In addition to, of course, all the huge warehousing we have out here in the Inland Empire. Hotel revenue is only one of several benefits. The way the hotel community and the cities benefit is through what we call economic impact. So everything that we bring, every visitor that comes to this welcome center and or goes to a, uh, our airport or the arena or the convention center or other assets within the region generates tax dollars. So remember that creates jobs. And a another example I'll point out is those uh, the tourism and hospitality industry was the third largest growth industry this year, this last year, of job creation. So one very big thing that it helps here in the Inland Empire in the region is through job creation. So the hospitality and tourism segment of our business creates a lot of jobs, which is why the cities love that. But also the visitors that we generate through our marketing and our sales initiatives bring other spending to the market. The Welcome Center is open Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. For RC Spotlight, I'm Brooke Slyer.